Okay, here we are, and I'm gonna call this weekend, so we're gonna do some set building, yay. This is our bedroom. There's actually a bed right here, right next to me, but we're gonna move that out of the way for stuff, and what Shai and I decided is we talked through a few things, we're actually gonna hopefully build two sets this weekend. One, literally right here, is going to be just some wood panels that we decided would be good for steampunk, Harry Potter, Scooby-Doo, all sorts of things. That's the big thing. We love to do the sort of hammer horror use to our sets and make sure that we can get a lot of use out of them. So we'll build cool things and make sure that we can repaint them, repurpose them, and do a bunch of photo shoots with them. Just like they used to do in the old Hammer films. They'd put one set and they would use it. You can watch the movies. They're in like 10, 20 different movies. Just repainted and put new tapestries on. So wood panel right here. And then on this wall right here, we're hopefully going to be building a locker room wall, which Shai's really into roller derby and stuff right now, so we had this idea to do variations on favorite characters as roller derby girls and other things, like we have some Riverdale outfits and stuff, and hey, they go into the locker room, so that was decided as the best other one to use on the bigger wall. So, literally going to have two sets right next to each other. You're never even going to know they're there, though, when you look at the pictures. Just like when we used to do the ones with the stone wall for Bowser's Dungeon and the Brownie Frankenstein. That was literally a little eight foot section by about eight feet. Kind of a square. Not quite, but close enough. And we just kept repainting it and repurposing it and did a few photo shoots. And plenty of my friends didn't even realize they were on the same set. And the best was that it was in Shai's craft room and we had shit just... Literally five feet away from it, but no one knew the difference. We just put a bunch of stuff next to the wall, and it looks super cool. So hopefully we'll be able to do it again now. All right, so we've got our trusty insulation foam, kind of like the cornerstone to most of our builds, definitely all of our set builds. Funny thing I realized when I was reading it this time is, I don't remember it saying this before, but now it actually says do-it-yourself and craft project panel. I'm like, huh. You seem to be on to what I'm doing with this stuff. So that's kind of funny. So another reason that this project was chosen for the wood panel is because it's actually going to be one of the easiest builds I'm probably ever going to do in terms of this. Because all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sheet of foam and I'm going to cover it with wood panel wallpaper. Simple as that. All the excess I'm just going to chop off up in the room. The section of wall is 44 inches. This is 48 inches. So I'm just gonna chop off the excess cause we're not gonna shoot that. So it's not gonna matter if it's a nice clean line on top and on the side cause we're actually gonna use the window up there as well. I forgot to mention that, but we're gonna add like a little shitty curtain or something depending on the mood we're trying to set and go from there. So then you'll have like the wood paneling and you'll have the window with the curtain on it and it'll look super fancy. And I'll be like, holy crap, look at this amazing set. In reality, it's like, it's a chunk of foam and some shitty curtain that we got from either the thrift store or if we feel like being big spenders, Walmart. Okay, so we got one section of panel done. Obviously, not anything like up to Hollywood standards. Oh my god, it's amazing, but it'll be good enough for the background of a photo shoot, especially if we make sure we get it lit right, so that way it'll look like wood, hopefully. And then we're getting ready to put on the second panel, so it'll be a little bit wider, so we can make sure we have some room to shoot wider shots, because Shy loves to move around and shoot from a bunch of different angles. <laughs> Okay, two panelings of wallpaper, and as you can see, there's a little excess on the side and then on the bottom there. So, luckily, all we have to do with that is just chop off the excess, and this wall will be ready. Okay, so now we have a nice wood panel wall, and now it doesn't look that amazing, but once it's in the picture, it should look great. So now we have a nice wood panel section of wall here, but unfortunately next to it there's this ugly section that we also want to cover up. 
luckily we have these extra sections of foam that we're not going to chop up to fit and cover with the rest of our wall planking. Okay, so we took two pieces of the remainder, chopped them up and taped them together, and then we put some wood paneling wallpaper on them, and now we're just gonna go take it and put it up in the room, and everything should look fine. It was slightly short, but we're gonna put it on the top, so that way when the curtain hangs down, you shouldn't be able to notice it all. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the wall hung, and we've got the curtain up, what we use to hang the wall is these little things that stick together and you just peel the backs off. Reason being is the first time when we built the dungeon set, we just tried being cheap and using duct tape and the thing fell down like three times before we finally shelled out a couple bucks and got these. They work way better. I know I sound like I'm plugging a product, but trust me on these. Also, as you can see right now, it looks terrible up top right there. But if you zoom in, it doesn't look half bad. Easily be able to shoot anything we want in this little space, but I mean, you can easily fit an entire person in here and maybe two people if you want them close together. It's one of those things Shy was pointing out. Also, another contribution that she added to this was cutting off the bottom of the curtain so that way the wood paneling actually sticks out and it looks more like an actual window, whereas before it just was draped all the way down to the ground and it looked like we hadn't bothered to build anything there. I'm gonna look for a new job.